Good evening, welcome back. I'm sitting here with Kuroki because Alliance uh, wanted to prepare for the next match and of course, uh, you know, I have a lot of questions for you as well. So you've been winning today. How does it feel? Good. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday didn't go so well, of course, let's start with yesterday. And I mean, it was... Um, it was kind of one-sided games. I talked to I talked to Matt earlier today, and he said that you should have been able to win the second game. Do well, you agree? realistically speaking, I think we could have won both games, but I feel like we got outplayed. So if you get outplayed, you lose, obviously. Because what changed since today and yesterday? Because I mean, it was a big change, and I know you didn't get that much time to prepare. Yeah, well, now we are in the loser bracket, so that changed. More pressure or? I think you didn't watch much Navi games lately. There has, to be honest, there hasn't been that many Navi games. No, but in all honesty, um, I think uh, Sigma is, was very prepared for us and they're a super strong team. So there's nothing particular that changed. I mean, obviously we thought how we can win Fnatic, but I think Fnatic is not in their best shape right now. I yeah. guess they're kind of tired. They've been to Vegas and before that they've been, been traveling. So they have to regain their shape pretty much. And uh, yeah, so sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. When we play Fnatic, it's today we win, tomorrow we lose. So it's not like we had some special ideas or whatever. We just played. Okay, so what do you expect for uh, the upcoming match? Like, who are you gonna face tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I think it's 50-50. Sigma is, like I said, I, I have huge respect for Sigma. You can see them coming into top four in many tournaments lately. And Alliance is Alliance after all, so they're kind of regaining their strength right now, I feel, so I don't know who's going to win. Who do you want to face? Uh, I want to face Sigma, I think. Why? Because we lost to them. I want to... You, you want to pay back? Yeah. Okay, because uh, I talked to Papi yesterday and he said that uh, he thinks the Alliance is the more fun team to play against, the most fun team to play against. Yeah, well, there, there's like the natural rivalry between Alliance and us, so yeah. I mean... We met in the TI finals and we kept meeting in so many finals and many different tournaments. Yeah. So they're like our natural nemesis. So it's always extra motivation playing them. It's extra fun. So there's truth in there. So you hope that you face them in the finals then? Exactly. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that makes sense. So of course, I mean, you've been uh, with Navi for, uh, for a while now. And uh, how are things? Like, it's, it's, it's been over a year. No, it's been nine, 10 months? It's been months? since March yeah. 2013. Well, I, I don't know to give you a real answer to that question. Okay. I mean, we, we all grow with each other yeah. each day. Obviously, we get along very well, usually. And uh, it's good. There's a lot of highs and lows, I guess. different. Yeah, yeah. obviously. But that, that uh, applies to any team, basically. Yeah. But you've been able to work it out and, and work through it. That's, of course, important. Yeah. And um, going to continue on with that as well, I hope, at least. So now that you've, uh, you, well, you've been in the first half of this year, so TI4 on the way, and you're still also studying along the side, are you planning on maybe cutting down on studying to maybe focus more on Dota for TI4? Or is there something, like, are you going to continue this way? or? Uh, I'm, I'm going to continue this way, I think. I... I have no problem so far, so that's okay for me. I mean, I, Dota is so natural for me that I can do something besides it, even though it's time-consuming, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and, and he's uh, studying psychology, so uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Stop asking these stupid <laughs> questions. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, uh, I really don't know. It's uh, I don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe whatever happens, you know, day is mysterious. Day is mysterious. So... But is it is it a study that you want to, like, you know, be a psychiatrist? Or is that, like, no? Not necessarily. Well, the reason you study in the first place is to actually learn. Like, the word study means you learn it. The, I, I don't like the idea of I study something in order to get a specific job. I don't, I don't agree with that. I study because I'm interested in that, in that materia. So I want to study it, learn it, and do something out of it, whatever it is. It just it will come natural at some point. In okay. my opinion. Well, that's uh, that's at least something to look forward to, because I mean you still have uh, quite a way to go. You're in your first year. Yeah. So uh, and of course next to Dota, I think that there's not that many people that actually do that. 
Because uh, what do you think about actually? Because you can do it. Obviously, you've proven that. Uh, a lot of people still have school studies work next to Dota. Do you think that's the way to do to to be a professional gamer? Or um, well, it's it's always it's like this. If you commit to Dota full time, it's obviously better. I mean, yeah. you're, you're more relaxed overall. You can prepare better for the tournaments and games. But I mean, some people can juggle more things at the same time. It's it depends on the person, it depends on the team as a whole, how much time they want to commit together. So, I mean, right now, esports itself is still so little. It's actually in kindergarten shoes, to be yeah. honest. So, I, I think it's generally better if you have a second career going on. And Something I mean, to fall back on? I mean, it's like I don't see myself as a professional gamer in that sense that uh, that's my job. I mean, of course it's my job, but uh, for me, it's I do it mainly for fun because I love being competitive pretty much that's why I do it and you think that should be the same thing for everybody then? no it doesn't apply to anyone I think everyone has his own reason why he plays why he studies whatever my reason is because I want to compete I just love winning tournaments for a reason so yeah okay and do you think it differs per role like how much time you have to practice because I know for example Sokska he still he goes to school so he was at school Thursday so he could only get here in Kiev like three hours I think, before I the think game? he works actually yeah works or school he said school during the conference but it's it's it, maybe it's been I don't both. Know. but he at least is very busy like most tournaments he will come on the day that it starts yeah do you think that's something that is too much of a sacrifice or uh, well I think I think s it, it does cripple Sigma as a team because I think some players want to commit more time into the game and Sokska thinks he has to do that but in the end, it's like I said, it's up to the up to the player and the team. If they decide to go on like that, it's it's their business. If it works, yeah. obviously it works for them right now. So there's nothing wrong with that. Well, uh, it paid out yesterday. I mean, obviously they won and they're here in the winners bracket finals. And um, now that Sokska is here for a day, he might be more like uh, in the zone, so yeah. to speak. So uh, what is the thing that in the next game, Sigma versus Alliance, what's the thing that we should look forward to most? Like, is it going to be? Active in the laning stage, or is it going to be like? Is there are there certain well points we have to look out for? Uh, Sigma is uh, they play very teamish. They have they pick heroes which come together and they cluster together and they're gonna push you right away. They're gonna punish you. They're gonna gank you and take your towers. So they and the alliance is actually a team who also has a very teamish kind of style. They always come together as five heroes and punish you for for wrong movements on the map. And S Sigma is not similar to Alliance, they do it in their own ways. I mean, you see Sigma's draft is much different than all other teams. Yeah. For example, they first pick Bane, and most teams don't even pick Bane at all, or just ban him sometimes, pick him sometimes. So, I mean, you, we're going to see two different styles. They're going to clash together, and we're going to see who's going to prevail. Because I, I asked Matt this earlier as well, and um, he said, because Alliance likes to play for late game, so they like to be conservative early on, especially if they don't necessarily have the advantage early on. And Matt said, like, we're not going to allow them to do that, so they're indeed going to try to fight on the... the are you expecting active games or uh, passive ones? Well, the games will be active, but I think you can put it in such simple matter. We won't allow you to do that, because teams have been trying to not allow Alliance to do that for the past year, and it didn't work. <laughs> they won every tournament. Yeah. So... Um, it's going to be active games for sure, because Sigma is aggressive anyway, and uh, Alliance is actually a very aggressive team too. But, I mean, aggressiveness, it doesn't mean that you go out and kill heroes. It's not aggressive. It's just a way of playing. Aggressive means you constantly do something on the map which puts the other team into pressure. It can be split pushing, can be whatever, stacking creeps, even some kind of aggressive stack creeps, or your carry has the option to farm it. Get this. I mean, Alliance always gets a certain timing, a timing push, yeah. they will always do it. And... Um, We'll see how the games evolve. Are you expecting long or short games? Like, what's, what's the average? Like, what's the average duration that you expect for the games tonight for these two? I, I have no answer for that. It depends on the draft. It depends how how they play. If they're if like Sigma does two sloppy mistakes or Alliance does two sloppy mistakes, the game the game's lifespan can be shortened right away. Or if they both play very well and like with two teams play very cautious, a lot of times what we see is that the game drags out like really long. For example, Chinese teams, they play very cautious or they play very clean, I like to call it. They don't do the obvious yeah. mistakes. So the game drags out because it's like about the more time passes, the more likely it's that some mistakes happen. So it depends on their shape pretty much today.
Okay, fair enough. And, and do you think it's going to be the games are going to be decided by the draft, or does the draft like doesn't matter th as much well, as, as the game? Well, the, the draft is a huge part of yeah, the game, obviously. obviously. So it's. I think it's always 50-50%. I mean, okay. it's 50% draft and 50% execution. I mean, I can't even put it in percentages. They just belong Th they're together. They're just both important. Yeah, but I mean there's no... Actually, the, is there the, no way, the way uh, uh, Sigma drafts Bane and executes them is different. And the way Alliance drafts Prophet and the Executor's Hero is different. So it's not the hero or the draft itself. It's just the way they play. Okay, well, we're of course going to see it. Uh, you still have to have uh, a bit of food before the game. Is there anything else that you're going to do to prepare for tomorrow's game? I'm gonna take some rest. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep some more. Mm. It's gonna be good. Uh, do you uh, prepare? Like, do you do any practice still before then? Um, maybe go to a place with all five of you just to discuss the game, or is it just you're gonna <laughs> show up? That and was play? a good joke. Thank you. Yeah, that's something that Sigma said that they they would do. Like, they they do that before they have a game. They they no, just well, the way we pre prepare prepare for our games is, I mean, individually, our team is on very high skill, in my opinion. I think. Uh, then the Hawass Fanik have super high skill on each trip position. And the, the rest comes from Clement and me. We just try to figure out how to pick, like today against Fnatic. So we're just gonna try it, we're gonna think, like we're gonna look at the drafts which they had recently, try to figure out something. Like today we drafted some Vipers and Restless and stuff like this. So it's either works or not. So we're gonna see tomorrow. So, so not any specific preparation anymore for tomorrow. Apart from watching the game, of course, to just to see who you're going to be up against and how the there's, teams play. There's no specific preparation. We just we, we will try to outsmart the uh, the enemy team. And that's okay. it. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And I wish you a good meal as well. And thank you for joining me. Thank you.